a lot of people enjoyed my video of the 10 minute transmitter with an extra amplifier stage to give 5 watts output. Now I'm out in the park and I'll try it portable. What am I going to do for a receiver? Well, I'm going to go really simple. I'm using a 1970s era National GX3. It's just a very basic AM, FM, shortwave broadcast receiver with no BFO. And shortwave is several megahertz over the whole dial span. So it's not the greatest of receivers. Neither is it very selective nor sensitive. Anyway, I'll be using this rig with the local oscillator switched on to provide a beat frequency oscillator for the receiver. I wired a 10k resistor across the key connection so the local oscillator is on but hopefully putting out a weak signal so it won't swamp the receiver. As you can hear, there's a bit of CW activity on the band. Of course we need the antenna, so I've got 20 metres of wire and I'll just have it end fed. Just in case you missed the last video, this is a two transistor CW transmitter, putting out around 5 watts. There's two switched crystals covering two frequencies in the CW portion of 7 MHz. The crystal oscillator is a BD139 that you might be able to see just behind the variable capacitor. That puts out maybe 200 milliwatts to drive an IRF510. Keying is done by shorting the emitter of the oscillator transistor to earth via a 15 ohm resistor. More details in the previous video. I've got two crystals in here, one on 7020 and the other on 7023. I'm on the 7023 setting now, I'm just turning it on. And you can just hear a beat note from the transmitter. So I've got a couple of meters of wire, so I'll attach that to the telescopic whip and hopefully that will give a stronger signal. Just using a little Elmatch antenna coupler and a small field strength meter. And the tuning is very sharp and you can see there's a, a healthy reading. So we're now tuned up. That's a little bit too close so I'll go down a few kilohertz. The tuning range of this is about three kilohertz so that's enough to get away from another station. As you can hear, it's receiving quite well. But I'll just get away from it and put out a few CQ calls. It's just before 6pm, so the band's opening up. I don't expect DX, but my signal should be quite audible um, up to maybe 1,000, 2,000, maybe 3,000 kilometres away. So I'll start calling. I'll just move the crystal oscillator a little bit because this doesn't change its frequency on its own very much. I should mention I haven't told anyone I'm on the air, so this is a completely random contact if I get anything at all.
Well, that was a contact with Chris VK2 NAP who was only running 4 watts so even less power than this thing and quite a good signal even on this national Panasonic receiver he dropped down to 2 watts still a good signal and at half a watt he was still copyable here as well so 
pretty good for Melbourne to Sydney with this makeshift arrangement. Conditions are obviously quite good, so I'll keep calling CQ and see what else I get. Well, that was my second contact with VK3 DBD, Yakadanda, which I think is in Northern Victoria. Very strong signals all the time, including when he went down to five watts, like now. Thank you. 